NBC's Matt Gutman starts us off with the hunt for the woman who may hold the keys to a menacing terror cell. Matt. Good evening, Cecilia. Tonight we learned that she managed to escape a dragnet of 88,000 security officers, not because they couldn't find her here at the apartment block where she lived, but because she wasn't even on the continent. Tonight, the most wanted woman in the world vanished. French authorities confirming 26-year-old Hayat Boumediene, a key member of the murderous sleeper cell which terrorized Paris, massacring 12 people at a satirical newspaper, Charlie Hebdo, and seizing this Jewish supermarket, has fled the country. U.S. and French officials tell ABC News she fled France last week, traveling to Turkey via Spain, then crossing into Syria the day after the attack on the magazine. It was the very same day her partner gunned down a policewoman in Paris. A reason that she may have wanted to go to Syria is really just to have sanctuary there. Syria is awash in extremists. Police describe Boumediene as the body to the murderous Clyde of Ahmedi Koulibaly, both armed and dangerous. Her boyfriend killed yesterday as commando stormed the supermarket where he'd taken hostages and killed four. Police suspect she served as the communications link between Kubali and the other members of the terror cell behind the Charlie Hebdo massacre. The brothers Sharif and Saeed Kouachi killed yesterday when police stormed the printing press where they'd hold up. Boumediene exchanging more than 500 phone calls with one of the brothers' wives. This is the apartment complex where she and Kulabali lived. The couple lived here in this nondescript working class building filled with students and workers and right here, their mailbox. Upstairs, most neighbors wouldn't talk. And tonight, we drove into a gritty suburb across town. Have you heard of Hayat? Trying to visit her father's apartment. Right now, we're being shouted at from across the way. We're being told to leave this area. Boumidian wasn't always an Islamic radical. This is her in a bikini, wrapped around Kulabali's torso. And this is her head to toe in a niqab, brandishing a crossbow. French police questioned her about those activities, but released her. And we're also learning tonight from senior U.S. intelligence officials that the Charlie Hedbo attackers had support in some form from a network of jihadi enablers that reached into Syria and Yemen. Cecilia. Matt Gutman leading us off tonight. Thank you.